Coach, congratulations on four in a row. I know it was a tough game tonight. Talk about how you all were able to pull it out in that second half. Ah, uh, man, it's never tough when you get a victory, man. I mean, at the end, I mean, it, it, it was tough. But at the end of the day, man, I'm so happy, man. Like I say, the Lord is blessing me. The Lord is with me, man. This stuff is already written, man. We're, <laughs> we're good, man. It, it, it's, not, it's, it's a celebration, man. Like, we're here. We're, we're blessed. We're breathing air in the south side of Chicago, man. It's continuing to make noise, man, and I love it. Coach, recently you were named by ESPN Coach of the Week from December 11th through December 17th. Talk about that feeling, man, and what's going through your mind from yourself and the coaching staff. Oh, man, like when, when I think about the Coach of the Week, man, I just think about all of the hours that my family has put in and just supported me. The fact that my wife stopped dreaming so I can dream. All the times that my son stayed up waiting for me to come home and I did it. My daughter texts me, Daddy, is Daddy Daughter Day? I need you there. All of this stuff, man, is not for me, man. It's for my family, my wife, my kids, the people that put in real sacrifice in order for me to be in a position that I'm in. You added Coach Scott Spinelli to your coaching staff this season, and Jay Sean said, hey, Coach been giving us a lot of good insights, helping us prepare for the games. How important has he been to your coaching staff? Oh, man, our, our coaching staff has been amazing, man. Coach Spinelli brings 28 years of experience. So, you know, <laughs> in 28 years of coaching college basketball, man, it, it's a blessing. And then I also have guys like Coach Barrett and Terry that have 20-plus years of experience. Coach pros like Pat Williams for the Chicago Bulls. And you can never go wrong with a guy that played the game at the highest level in Jelani Hewitt. So our staff is continuing to grow, and we're continuing to add pieces. And that's what winning programs do. Now, Coach, you all have an eight-game road trip coming up, man. Talk about how you prepare yourself for that. Bless, man. Bless, man. Like I say, I woke up this morning, man. A lot of people didn't really wake up this morning. We're playing basketball at the end of the day. You play basketball under the bridge, if you play basketball in the snow, no matter where you go, we're playing basketball. The, the, the courts are the same um, length and width. The goals are 10 feet. There's only 10, five players from each team. I'm not worried about that, man. We'll be fine. What do you guys want to do on a road trip for fun? Just continue to build that camaraderie. Oh, man, I look forward to those game nights, man. Especially, I'll get a chance to play Madden, 2K. Now, we played last year, man, and Jay Sean whooped me in one of those fighting games. He cheated me <laughs> because I had never played it before. But the game nights inside of the lobby or in the conference room, we look forward to those things. Well, Coach, congratulations again on the victory, man. Looking forward to chatting with you down the road. I appreciate you taking the time to come out and support us, man. Keep doing your thing. You have a good one. God bless. Happy holidays.